Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleaned up the uh, create post area here. And so we'll go ahead and review what I've done here. Again, I'll, I'll provide all the CSS um, if you'd like to copy and paste and use this as a starter template. So we'll just head into Visual Studio and then in our create CSHTML for our post, you can see that I have this uh, create post section and we've wrapped everything in this container body content as we have for most of our views in the system. And so we have this section header that contains a section heading. And so the first row here is where we simply, we put out the uh, forum logo as a background image as we have done in other places. And then um, the only th other thing I believe I've added here is a button to actually head back to the particular forum that you uh, arrived at via this uh, create post. And so then we have a second row here, which has, which contains a div class create post section. Then we've added this author block, which just basically contains a note reminding you that you're submitting the post as, and then your username. And maybe we can wrap this in like a strong tag. Okay, and then we tuck this form inside of the uh, create post section. And so I'll go ahead and shift refresh here. And so this is kind of what our create post view is looking like. So in our site CSS, our create post section here, um, it's just a white background with 24 pixels of padding. This author block is the sort of dotted light blue line that we have around it. And then this no border is causing us to not see a border here beneath the heading where we have this new post Python. Okay, and then so on our replies page, if we head back and go to a forum and then we post a reply here, we're doing something uh, very similar. We're using some of the same classes that we have here so we'll head here. So I'll head into the create.cshtml for the reply, which is here. What we're doing is we have the section header with a section heading, the actual post title that we're replying to. And then we've got a link to take us back to the actual post. And then I've got a row that contains the original post content here with an ID of original post. And so created an ID selector for original post, which just sets the background color and some padding, and then puts a little bit of margin at the bottom to separate that from the reply form. So if we head back here, class here to actually have um, the class of create post section. So reusing that from our create post page to give it a similar feel. So now let's fix um, this little issue here and make this text more in line with the rest of the list items. So if we head over into our layout, which is in shared and then layout.cshtml, and we scroll down to where we see um, if the user is signed in, and then we have this hello and then username, this is what I would like to fix. And so let's just go ahead and wrap this hello. We can get rid of maybe hello and we'll wrap it in an anchor tag with an ASP controller profile. And then an ASP action of detail. and then ASP route ID equal to at user manager. Dot get user ID and we can just pass it the user here. And then we can put the username 
inside of this anchor tag. And then I'll just go ahead and clean this up a little bit as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh. And so now this is a link, and so it should be formatted properly. And if we click on it, it takes us over to our profile. All right, so that's looking quite a bit better. And so lastly, I'd like to go ahead and take care of our various forms here. So our reply form and our new post form. So if we head back here and we go to like forums and then we click on Python and create post. Let's clean up these two post areas. And I forgot to mention, we also should clean up this forum listing.